my name is Ashley Long, and today on SheTV, I'm going to be showing you how to make a chocolate bunny from my own plush line, the Wumplings. You're going to need polyfiller cut and stuffing, a whiteout pen, Sharpie permanent marker, scissors, some fabric friendly adhesive, toothpicks to spread this with later on, needle and thread, and then also some pins. And a couple different colors of felt. You'll need just a little bit of white, medium brown, and then three other colors of your choosing. Just make sure that there's a pastel, medium, and dark shade. You're also going to need some dark chocolate brown fabric, preferably something with a little bit of fuzz to it. First thing you'll need to do is download the Wumplings template that you can get on sugarhooker.com. Trace the body template onto your dark brown fabric twice to make a front and back for him. I like to use the whiteout pen for this. Once you've traced the template twice, cut them out, and you should end up with two halves, something like this. And now you're gonna to start to use the eyeball templates. Take the eyeball circle included in your template and trace it onto the pastel shade of fabric. Do the same with the iris, the medium-sized circle, and the pupil, the smallest circle. Okay, now cut out the eyeball shapes that you've just made. Similar steps apply to the inner ear of the rabbit. You'll be tracing that template onto your medium brown felt and also cutting out those oblong shapes. Now that you have all of your shapes cut out, we're gonna apply some parts of his face. Put the eyeball in the middle of his head and pin it down to secure it for sewing. Do the same with both of the oblong inner ear shapes, just using one pin to keep them in place while you use a simple running stitch to apply them. When it's all done, you should end up with something like this. Now that you have the two halves of your rabbit, you're gonna pin them inside out so you can sew them together. Just use some pins to loosely hold these shapes together while you sew, again with a really simple running stitch and preferably some brown thread. When you sew the two halves together, start at a foot because you're going to leave a little gap between his feet to stuff him later. Using the open spot you left between his feet, we're gonna turn him right side out. Once you have your bunny turned all the way right side out, you're gonna stuff him. You can have him be kind of floppy or you can have him be really stuffed tight and fat. Once you have him all stuffed, you're gonna close up that gap you left between his feet. And you can just do a really simple stitch, something quick to close him up. So now your bunny's almost done. All we have left to do is apply the rest of his eyeball. You're gonna apply the iris and the pupil using the fabric friendly adhesive and a toothpick. So take the iris, the medium sized circle, and apply just a little bit of adhesive to the back with a toothpick and then press it down. And you're gonna do the same with the pupil and then center that in the iris. Add a tiny white circle of felt to give a little bit of glimmer to the eye. I think this really brings them to life. Place it about halfway onto the pupil, half on the iris. So your chocolate rabbit is finished, but he's naked. Ah! So now you get to dress him whatever way you want to. You can do this with any number of different quirky little scraps, ribbon, fake flowers, sequins, beads, lace, anything you want to totally customize your chocolate rabbit. If you're making it for a gift or for yourself. And that's it.